How did I, a girl from Utah, classically trained in piano and opera, go from recording in my living room to performing at DEF CON 1 in the Netherlands, one of the biggest hardstyle festivals in the world? It all begins with sharing. When I was a kid, the oldest of five, I was really, really bad at sharing anything, ask anyone in my family. So when I started my music career, I had some serious making up to do for the selfish ways of my youth. But lucky me, it wasn't too late. When I first learned how to share, I actually made history. I was one of the very first artists ever to share my music on the internet. At the revolutionary website mp3.com, I gave away millions of free downloads that earned me national tours, regular gigs at the House of Blues, and the title, Digital Music Pioneer. After releasing 12 albums under my given name, Emily Richards, I began recording under the alias Snowflake. Soon after my name change, I founded my own music company and became the leader of collaborative community ccmixter.org, where I learned an entirely new way to share. In the Mixterverse, I don't just give away downloads of finished tracks. I share my individual vocals and stems of over 150 songs. My acapellas have been remixed thousands of times, and those remixes are used by other creators all over the internet. My voice is heard in the most random places. Grocery stores, influencer channels, phone apps, video games, and podcasts, and will soon be featured in my first musical, Rise Up Babylon. Sharing my music can make me feel vulnerable, yet giving in this way has opened the world to me. Literally. Artists all over the globe produce their own versions of my songs in unique styles I would never think of on my own. So maybe it shouldn't have been a surprise when DJ Promo reached out to me. Did you know you have a lot of fans here in Holland? No, I didn't know. Turns out my vocals are included in a list of hardstyle festival hits by several Dutch hardcore DJs. A few years ago, I traveled to Amsterdam to meet Promo in person to see if he wasn't just playing me. Then he showed me videos of live performances with big crowds singing right along with me, the songs I'd written and shared about the most personal things in my life. It felt strange and amazing. You have to give to receive. I've always liked that phrase, though I didn't really understand its meaning until my voice found its way into a style of music I'd never heard of on the other side of the world from me. I think I'm finally learning my lesson. And I can't wait to share the stage. Follow my journey to DEFCON and hear the songs I'll be performing live. Here.